Yeah, well, when I came in, right they, they said we've got about 20 spaces left. That's it. We oh, can't wow. put any more sellers on. Wow. Like, literally toppers. Oh, yeah. my lord. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. 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 NPC. Do you know what NPC is? Yes, I do know what NPC is. What is it? First off. Huh? First off, you want to buy your own place. Yep. And then once you've done that, then you want to buy a camper. Yep. Alright. What's wrong with that? I think it's going to say you'll have a hundred grand then. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Oh, nice. oh no. Go pick it up. Go on. Go pick it up. Move your hand. <laughs> <laughs> so help. Uh, you could have helped with those as well. No, nah, it's like that, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a Marvel Warehouse one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's wicked. It's really good. Oh, medium. How much you got on these, bud? 25 each. 25 each. 65. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because I came all the way here and I'm not going without something. Yeah. I need something. Get yourself a lucky dip. Huh? Go Mystery to. passes, guys. Lucky dip. Two pound to go. How many? Three now. A fiver. Get rid of it. Seven. A tenner. What do you think? Cheers. Oh, no. Hello, mate. You're all right there. You're all right. Thank you. Pick anyone you want. Thank you. Here we go, Paul. I might go with this one. All right. I'm going to go with this one. I have a good feeling about it. Hello. We did, we did a lucky dip. Can you please put the window down for us as well? Because I'm sweating. Okay. We did a lucky dip. How much did it cost you? Two pounds. Got it. Thank you. We're an Thank hour you. late for the boot sale. He's not happy. Because of her. What? No. Right. <laughs> Don't you dare say that. You're going to make it dramatic, but. I am. Oh. Oh. Two pounds. Lucky dip. Ooh. We were here like this time last year and we did one, so. Oh, there you go. Spray. Do you recognise the brand? Meridian. 
<laughs> How do you say it? I have no idea. The spray. Right. We've got some spray. Ooh, it wasn't worth I it. I need some spray to be honest. Yeah, that. Is it stinks. men's spray? What is it? Towel dry. Towel dry the area before you spray one to two pumps of spray on your groin. <laughs> groin spray? What the hell? Let it air dry before dressing. What the hell? Um, there you go, two pounds from groin it's spray. Man. I think it's a man. I'm one. not spraying that anywhere near my groin. <laughs> All right. I think, hang on, hang on. It's two in here. It's two. Unless it just be. No, it's, oh, two it's the, the same. same. Premium care for your prized possessions. Who's packaged that like that? They packaged it in a poly mailer and they're all dented. Amateur hour, mate. There you go. One Ooh. pound each. I'm not spraying it anywhere near anywhere. Ah, dedicated to helping men groom below the belt. Too often, we neglect basic hygiene due to a lack of information and taboo. All right, well. For our private parts, there you go. Yeah, I'm not spraying that anywhere. There you go, Frank. I'm a bit disappointed. So two Come bottles in. of cock spray and I'll go through the stuff we managed to pick up. <laughs> Boys and girls, we are back on the grind, the eBay grind, the car boot grind. As you've just seen in those clips, um, we went to a car boot yesterday. First one of the year and it was an absolute disaster. Um, so yeah, let's get into what we managed to pick up and I'll tell you what I mean by it was a disaster. So that's going to be too hot. I'm not even going to try and drink that at the minute. So yeah, we turned up. We, well, our local car boot, if I try and get rid of that bit of glare, there we go, that's a bit better. Um, yeah, we went, our local car boot is not on um, until next week. So, because of the weather, the weather's been nice here, but it's been wet um, every now and again. And the field it's on is a field and it is on a slope and it's been waterlogged. So, it's been cooled off until next week. But next week, we should be back to our own one. So, we're in Barnstable, North Devon, and we went to exit a car boot sale, the race course one about an hour and 15 away so we obviously need to leave in an hour in advance so we did we left we were probably going to be five minutes late at most um but yeah when we got there it was queued for about a mile maybe a mile and a half and we thought oh it's all right you know i went with the expectation of getting some stock not too much stock but just having a day out really that was our main my main expectation i didn't go there with a um with like motivated to get stock i didn't need the stock i was just getting it um because i was having to go there yeah it was kind of like i'm gonna get stock but i'm not worried if i don't get too much so that was my mentality going there so i wasn't too worried when i saw the traffic until it took us an hour to get in an hour it literally it was a mile and a half most and it was an hour to get it was that queued it was absolute stagnant all the people trying to get in there exit a race course car boot there's three ways to get in so there's a back a back lane uh, and the motorway way so obviously the say the that's in the middle the race course is in the middle so you've got the back lane here obviously there's traffic coming both ways there um so they're sharing interns to go in and then halfway down the road there's a roundabout that leads onto a motorway so there's three like ways to get in so it was just completely congested um and it took us an hour to get in basically but we didn't let that stop us we still had a good day out it was a lovely day a uh, really nice sunny day um so yeah we managed to get some good stock. I spent, I took a hundred quid, which I probably would have spent if uh, I'd got there on time, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say, really, isn't it? But I did all right. I got two bags. Got this little bag and then another bag this size um, full of stuff. Not a massive amount. We're going to nip through it quickly. Um, I won't spend too much of your time going over it. First pickups of the day were two fat face jumpers. You know I love fat face. I sell a lot of fat face stuff. XL men's fat face hoodie, like a knitwear. That one will do really well. Um, I know summer's coming up, so I was a little bit. Um, I, I am aware that jumpers will like sell slower, but people buy them year round. People go camping year round. They sit around the campfire. It gets colder in the evenings. People need jumpers year round. So still be picking up your jumpers. Still be picking up your jackets because they do sell. And then some in summary that we picked up. Actually, I'll show you the other fat face jumper whilst we're on the subject. Uh, it's just again another knitwear classic this is a 3xl which is a good size for fat face just a knitwear jumper again we paid five pounds for both of those so two pound fifty each and we'll probably get easily 18 pounds each 18 to 20 pounds each so that's a good good start today that was our first pickup we literally picked that up within five minutes so i was over the moon i'd covered the fuel i'd covered the entry fee within five minutes so that made me very happy uh, and then we also did a lucky dip. I put that clip in before this. Um, 
yeah, Billabong shorts, red hot, I can't, red hot chili pepper. Oh, the red hot chili pepper. Um, I didn't even realize that. Is that right? Red hot chili pepper. Yeah, red hot chili peppers. It must be a collab. Didn't even realize that. Um, just board shorts, nothing crazy. 36 waist, which is nice. Red hot chili pepper collab, Billabong. 36 waist, really nice. Um, board shorts again with summer coming up i wouldn't usually pick up billabong stuff it doesn't sell the best but board shorts this time of year we're going to fly out so good keywords board shorts beach summer they're all going to go in the title as well as red hot chili pepper that might help sell them as well uh, i didn't realize they were that that must be a collab i'm not sure but yeah decent flip two pounds probably into maybe 16 17 i'm not sure that might be more if the red hot chili pepper is worth something Two really nice um, barber pieces, which kind of saved the day, to be honest. We picked up, we'll start with this one. We paid five pounds for this first one and we paid 10 pounds for the second one. Um, so a really good, really good steal. Yeah, they're a woman, size 12. There's your barber logo. It's like a, I don't even, it's like a jacket, like quilted jacket with like shell sleeves. Just a really nice um, barber with a hood as well. Nice barber thing on the back there. Again, should sell really well. Five pounds we paid for this one. I love a boot sale for this very reason. Like you get some really good, um, you get some really good bargains. I mean, five pounds for that. I mean, you never find that on Vinted. Well, you might for five pounds, but then you'd have to pay your um, your fees to get that delivered. Charity shop would put that at probably fifteen quid, and you'd be, uh, you wouldn't be able to buy it too much. <clears throat> and this one again, we paid ten pounds for. It's a size ten woman's. Really nice floral sort of print on the inside. Um, and a corduroy collar, which I love. I love a corduroy collar. Quilted a jacket on a on a snap, all, full snap um, jacket. Really nice. Um, yeah, should do really well. Barber quilted jackets. They're a good seller uh, all year round. Again, so we're we'll quids in there. Again, I paid ten pounds for that big one. We probably going to get. I don't even know. I wouldn't like to say maybe thirty pounds, thirty five, forty pounds back. So. You know, that clears all profit. That's just um, clears all what we spent is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's a good £30 profit on the barber jacket. Maybe another 15 on the smaller barber jacket. Billabong shorts are probably another 10, 15. So, uh, and the two fat face ones. So we probably did near 100 quid profit, um, which isn't bad considering we turned up late. It was, well, not only did we turn up late, we had already had an hour of the resellers being in because you get early entry there if you want to. Um, plus we were an hour late of just normal general public so we were basically two hours late and we still managed to turn £100 in easy to list easy to ship easy to store clothing can't go wrong first car boot of the year I know it, it was technically a disaster because we had to queue an hour to get in and we were very late um, but we turned it around we did we got quite lucky I mean the barber stuff there that she had two more barber coats there and I probably could have picked them up but they're a little bit tatty um, I think you'll see in the clip I pulled one up and I think I don't really want that one and I put it back because it was it was a wax wax styled one but it was really tatted and I thought it's not worth my time I know she's going to give me give me it for a tenner and I could probably get 25 for it maybe but I just thought it's got, summer's coming up if it ha if it sits around and I've wasted a tenner on it I'm going to be gutted so leave it behind and move on um we've got one more pickup which is really cool this isn't to resell even though I probably could get 25 30 quid maybe on eBay I'm not sure um i don't know the going rate but i picked them up because they're really cool and i wanted them for the shop so i've got some boxing gloves if you didn't know um i got these because i did the charity boxing event um march and i'm quite into my boxing i really enjoy my boxing um just watch the highlights of the ryan garcia fight if anyone's into it absolute cracking fight that was um but yeah got got these um vintage boxing gloves really nice really cool gloves they're going to go in my shop as just an ornament um and we paid eight pounds for them so still profit in them if i did want to sell them i expect somebody in the shop at some point will probably offer me 25 for them 20 pounds and then at that, that at that point it'll be up to me if whether or not i take that but yeah if not they're going to be a really cool ornament i'm going to hang them up in the shop on the wall somewhere um they're really cool i really like them i probably won't end up selling them but if i did want to they would still be profitable that was all everything i've got loads of orders going out now and loads of stuff to list we just picked up about six parcels from the local garage we had three or four from vinted like all from vinted three or four that had been delivered home so we've got nine parcels to sort today we've got loads of listing loads of stuff 
I'm going to save that for another video. This video is going to come out today, which is Monday, and that video will come out probably Wednesday. So if you want to see that one, make sure to like, subscribe, um, and I'll see you then. Thanks for coming along on this trip with us. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you enjoyed the camera shots as well. They were um, done by the girlfriend that you saw in that little clip. Yeah, big shout out to you. Thanks for helping out. Um, I was going to wear my chest mount, but I couldn't really be bothered. So she just did the clips for me. So a massive thank you to her for helping out. She won't have watched this. She might have done, but I doubt it. She probably just turned off after her clips. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.